Hi everyone, so I just thought I'd do this video because I'm about to go to bed. I'm like so tired, it's past 12 o'clock and I'm back at work in a couple of hours. So I know I said earlier I would do like um, a review using the vitamin E cleanser, the vitamin E toner and then the little pot of moisturiser. And obviously it's one to take your makeup off and then your moisturiser. So I thought, well, I'll do it now, seeing as I'm going to bed. Yeah, I do have some awful, like, red spots on my nose. I've just popped loads. So my nose is bright red. So in case anyone's wondering. Um, so I'm going to start off. I've brought my little cotton pads upstairs as well that I got. Just because I thought, well, I may as well just open them up. I'm always using these. So when I can actually open them. So... As far as the instructions read, oh, you can see these are so different. So these ones are like, like, I don't know what you call them, like edged. And the cheap ones I've got are like, they are a bit, th no, they're not thicker. Let me just have a look. So they're like not edged. So they come across really easily, come away really easily. There's a difference completely in like product though. You can see difference. So anyway, when I've read the first one, so this is the cleanser, this is step one. You, all it says is leave it leaves the skin clean soft and subtle supple supple whatever massage into skin and remove with a cotton pad so all i'm assuming you do is you put it on your hands and then you massage into your skin and then remove it with a pad it doesn't say anything different to that so what i just thought i'll do oh god i look really bad i do apologize for this state i've rubbed half my makeup off by accident just throughout the night and I've got a cut on my finger like a cardboard cut from work and it's absolutely killing me so I'm just guessing you just sort of like as if you're moisturising so I'm going to put enough on because I just want to make sure it works really but obviously it's not as if I've used like a lot there's only like as I say squirts come out of it and it smells really nice as well, like it doesn't have like a really strong smell, but it smells nice if if anything, it doesn't smell anything bad. It's a bit like a florally smell, but not too like sickly florally. Oh, now I've got too much on my hands. I'm just going to put it on. Just make sure everywhere's covered. Not wasting it. It says also, if you get it in your eyes, you have to rinse it off immediately. Don't make contact with your eyes, which obviously you're not going to do anyway. But the only thing is, me thinking about it, when I've done this, obviously I could have probably brought the Calomile eye makeup remover. Probably being best. So I've just got my cotton pad. And as you can see, it's obviously taking it off. I don't know how well it's going to come off, but we'll see, won't we? So as you can see already there, there's like loads. So I'm just going to go on at the back. Go over where my eyebrow is, because I always have like bits left in my eyebrow. I always look in the morning and I'm like, oh. My face has gone red where I've been like pure rubbing it. I think the problem with me as well is I have no like thing about being careful with my skin. I just rub it. Just go for it. Especially with having dry skin as well. I like to make sure like I got all the awful minging skin. So that's like one cotton pad. I'm just going to have a look. Sorry, I know I'm going off camera. I'm just like looking at my mirror. I have such awful dry skin. Ugh. Right. So that's my cotton pad done with. So as far as I say, obviously I look a lot different to what I did because I've took off a lot of my foundation. I look very blotchy. So then this is the second lot. So it's the vitamin E um, hydrating toner. Um, it says on this one, soak a cotton pad and sweep over the face until clean. Avoid the eye area. So... 
I'm going to hold the compound here while I just do this. So this is a bit like my micellar water. Oh, it felt slimy there. No, it's not, but... Glasses. I like to make sure on the night I take my makeup off. I'm the worst person on a night for getting into bed and being like, oh, I'll take it off in a minute. And then I slowly start getting ready to go into bed. And then I just lay into bed to watch TV and wake up the next morning like a minger. And I won't even lie about that because I can't, I don't know any girl that says she's never gone to bed without taking her makeup off. There's always once, isn't there? So, as you can see, even with that other stuff and even the amount of rubs I did, there's still some on there. So I'm just going to go on to the back of it because it says by the end of this really, you shouldn't have any makeup left. Obviously on my eyes I will because this isn't actually meant to go on my eyes, but I don't want them insects on my eyes. I've read too much into that stuff. Right. So that's all that done. My face is really red. And as you can see, like, look at the state of these spots on my nose. The other day I woke up, and I'm not joking, there must have been eight white heads and black heads all up my nose here. That just, like, overnight just popped up. It was awful. And it was just after, after I had a cold. So the last thing I'm going to do is this moisturiser. And the moisturiser just says, lightweight uh, facial moisturiser that protects and locks in moisture for all day hydration. Um, it doesn't really say how to apply it. It just says it's a moisturising 48 hour cream. So, my face is burning. I hope this isn't me getting allergic reaction like I did with the av av avocado. Av I can't remember what it's called. It's avocado, I'm sure it's called avocado. Put it on the morning of my graduation. And, uh, yeah. Got a burn from it. Oh, this is really nice on my skin, actually. It's so easy to just swipe around. And I think as well, it's really important that I'm probably going to do this and I'm going to keep on buying this product because I don't have, like, a daily face wash type of thing. So on the morning, I sort of just get up, quickly wipe my face with some like facial wipes like these. Tea tree wipes, facial wipes, quickly and easily removes any traces of makeup. I use them on a morning, even though I've got no on. So it's probably the worst thing for me. I'll put some of the Aveeno face cream on. Or... Let's have a look. That Nivea lotion, and it's for dry skin. I'll lather my face in that. And then I'll put my primer on and all my makeup and then go straight to work and spend like eight hours in that makeup. So it's nice, I guess, on a night and on a morning to start having a proper routine where I really do like take a bit more care of my face and, and all that stuff. Because that's probably why I'm so spotty because I've never really had a routine other than... Obviously, when I was at home, I used to get up every morning and like wash my face with a flannel and whatever else, but then... I don't know, like, I just don't have time for washing flannel, so I just use wipes, which it probably isn't any better for the environment, which I know, but... Right, so as you can see, I look a mess, because I'm just getting ready for bed, but my face, all my makeup's off, my face is, like, drying out lovely, it's, like, not sticky, it's just... It feels really glowy, it's quite nice. Um... Yeah, so that's step one, two and three all done. I was going to give you my Coca-Cola bottle there, thinking it was one of my bottles. So I've done my third step, three steps, and I do feel like they've worked really lovely. What I'll do is in the morning, I'm going to upload this video now. And then in the morning, I'll probably edit the states that I add this onto and see how I feel in the morning. And if my face still feels lovely, I'll let people know how it is. But I think this was £21 for the three bottles, if you buy them all together. But with my 10%, obviously it'd be 20, it'd be something like £19 
the wild Davis i'll offer like three for 19 pounds so if anyone is interested in them three or would like to maybe i don't know if you live locally and obviously i know you as a friend or whatever if you would like to try them more than welcome to just message me and see what you think of them and then yeah if you would like to order them just let me know and i'll put it through on the next delivery so thanks for watching and i'll be back with another review type of thing again <laughs>